Before we begin the video, if you haven't yet, come on down and join my Discord server. Link is down in the description. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel for our last episode predictions. In today's video, we will be talking about the season 12 finale. Now, this episode is titled Game Over, and it really wouldn't be a gaming season if an episode wasn't titled this, and what better place than the finale? Now, here's our description. Unagami breaks into the real world and terrorizes Ninjago City, while Jay, Zane, and Pixel attempt to prevent disaster by reuniting Unagami with his creator, Milton Dyer. So, it seems like a classic Ninjago finale. The villain achieves their goal, but the ninja miraculously saved the day. So, I think this episode will be where episodes 14 and 15 left off, with Unigami entering the real world and escaping through the portal. And from there, I think it's almost positive that we will actually see his dragon form. Of course, there is that shot on the thumbnail, which we have not actually seen yet. Plus, you can't really terrorize a city if you're just a normal guy. Soon after Unigami starts to wreak havoc, we'll probably see Jay escape next, of course, using the three Kitanas. From there, likely a reunion between Zane, Jay, Pixel, and Wu. I also want to point out that the mechanic is still very much around, and he's still very much a threat, as we see in episode 14. So I'd say there is a 99% chance he'll be in this episode, and maybe we'll see a fight with him. For example, Wu and Pixel could distract him while Zane and Jay go after Unagami. Now, the real climax of this episode will come when Unagami and Milton Dyer reunite. And this is gonna sound weird, but I think Unagami will actually turn good. Episode 15's description says that Unagami is battling his own identity. And usually these villains with an emotional story end up turning good. For example, Garmadon Moro, maybe Harumi, those are all villains who turned good. These villains have a more fleshed out story, and usually these are the ones that we can really sympathize with more. More care tends to be put into their endings, because after all, these are not just average villains. Now I'm not saying that Unigami is some spectacular villain, because he has barely appeared and the season isn't even over yet. What I'm instead trying to suggest is that judging by past trends, Unigami could be purified. I would say 70% chance he turns good. If he doesn't though, Dyer will probably just shut him off along with the game. But at the end of this reunion between Dyer and Unigami, I don't think Unigami will exist anymore, in one way or another, whether he turned good or whether he's just gone. And after that, we'll probably see stuff reset to the status quo, just like season 11 did. I 100% bet that all of the dead players of Prime Empire will return, because after all, they won't just kill off the ninja like this, and yeah, season 13 leaks exist. This will also likely include Scott, who is free after all those years and will likely reunite with Dyer. And what about the AIs? I mean, maybe they could escape, but I feel like that is unlikely. Dyer will also probably be out of hiding and regain his prominence as a game developer. Now, the big question is, what'll happen to Prime Empire? Will it be shut down, or maybe there's another alternative? What if Prime Empire becomes a normal game, and the Red Visors turn into friendly crossing guards. I could see something like this happening, especially if Unigami turns good. Now, the last thing I want to discuss is this tweet, which confirms that there will likely be a season 13 reference. I feel like this will likely be in this episode, and maybe this could refer to Klaus if he's the Skull Sorcerer, or maybe one of these skeletons, or maybe season 13 has been rumored to be a board game season, so maybe we could see a board game appear. But yeah, those are my final predictions for season 12, and also this may be my final episode predictions video ever. Season 12 has been hard to work with with these predictions videos because of the unpredictable schedule as well as season 13 leaks. And I feel like these were better suited towards the old style of Ninjago, like Hunted and March of the Oni, and not as good towards these 11 minute episodes. And that is mainly because obviously we have much more episodes to cover, which means more videos. So I will likely not be doing these next season. I hope you've enjoyed these because I've enjoyed doing these episode predictions for the last two years because ultimately I can't be uploading daily just whenever. And I think it's actually kind of lucky that coronavirus happened when it did, because otherwise I would not have been doing these. Anyways though, thank you for watching. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, share with anyone and everyone you know. Let me know what your predictions are for the finale of Prime Empire, and I'll see you next time.